Originally, the bodily attributes of the African woman were despised by the modern West in the past, and subsequently this contempt transformed into jealousy and so surgery have made the impossible a possible but in an illusory and visible way. Nature has unique and sacred characteristics that express deep harmony and untraceable energy. Changing the liquid in a glass is not changing the glass. The hand of man cannot create that which exists before him and that which is at the origin of him. The human body like nature and the universe is a whole that represents and comes from the origin of a perfect and complete force. The hand of man cannot reproduce everything that makes up woman, down to its tiniest subtlety and mentality. Current female discomfort has become a norm and aesthetics has become a vulgarly sexual business for the benefit and well-being of the male sex. An obsessive male desire that hurts women and natural femininity. Women are suffocated in these roles of sexual chimera. The well-being of Western women has not been the West's priority for a long time. I understand that some actions express respect beyond words, but using natural property in a lucrative and primitively sexual way does not seem respectful. Cosmetic surgery creates a form of indirect cultural assimilation and cultural appropriation of the natural properties of African women. There are silicone breast implants and the latest developments, lip injections, buttock implants and fat injections all in a sexual symbolism influenced by masculine social constructions i call it distorted femininity since natural femininity is oppressed by male authority and male whims these are deep troubles that i find unfortunate in the female community currently we live in an era of destructive progress there is no of coincidence and the lack of meaning is not always material nor visible. It's truly contemptuous to reduce women to volatile and shallow instincts. Always this frantic race of unhealthy beauty. Cosmetic surgery is part of the culture of emptiness which slowly contributing to the total decline of the West. I think women should work on their self-esteem and overall well-being. Love is given to yourself first and not the other way around. Others cannot teach us to love ourselves we women. Thanks.